After Donald Trump's decisive election win, incumbent U.S. President Joe Biden has assured of a peaceful transition of power. Biden, while thanking his party and his staff, accepted the election result and slammed critics questioning the fairness of the electoral system. Yesterday, I spoke with President-elect Trump to congratulate him on his victory. And I assured him that I would direct my entire administration to work with his team to ensure a peaceful and orderly transition. That's what the American people deserve. The outgoing president called on Americans to tone down the political temperature going forward. But Trump has already shown his intent to ditch Biden's policies by suggesting that he would talk to Vladimir Putin. Now, as per reports, Trump has said that he has not talked to Putin since his victory, but thinks that they will soon speak. Now, the Russian president has also said that he is ready to hold discussions with Trump as he congratulated Trump. Putin praised him for showing courage during an assassination attempt in July. He said Moscow is ready for dialogue with the Republican president-elect. You know, you can think of him whatever you want, because everyone initially in his first iteration as president said that he was mainly a businessman and that he understood very little about politics and could make mistakes. But first of all, I can tell you his behavior at the moment of the attempt on his life impressed me. He turned out to be a courageous man. Now this marks a seismic shift from the icy silence that has existed between Biden and Putin since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022. It also underscores Trump's criticism of U.S. support for Kyiv. Trump previously said he would push through a peace deal in the conflict. But Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has said that calls for a ceasefire are dangerous. Meanwhile, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has said that the U.S. set up for success on the global stage if they follow through on the important things. The Pentagon chief highlighted work with NATO and Indo-Pacific partners as some of the country's strategic achievements in the last four years. Austin also vowed that the Pentagon is committed to an orderly transition to the incoming administration. And the ammunition 